What if the agony of defeat isn't so agonizing after all? What if, in fact, losing a battle really does help you find a new way to win the war? In that case, consider the New England Patriots' loss at Mile High a blessing in disguise. Granted, a loss to a team other than the Broncos would have been more favorable, seeing as the Broncos do pose the biggest threat to the Patriots hanging on to the number one seed. Nevertheless, the pressure of a perfect season is gone, and now they can go back to simply doing their jobs. Now, I'm not implying that Bill Belichick is going to concede any games from here on out, but I am saying that a weight is lifted. The Patriots are battered on both sides of the ball. Without the undefeated cloud hanging over their heads, there's less of a reason to rush anyone back. Give the key players ample time to recuperate so they'll be recharged when it's time to fight for all the marbles. After all, at the end of the season, this is all that really matters. At the end of the day, this is all that will be remembered. And at the end of the Brady-Belichick era, this is how we will measure their greatness. When the clock runs out, it doesn't matter if you've won by one or by 100. And in fact, the one score wins, the rallying from behind, those games are the ones that define Belichick's genius and the Patriots' tenacity, not the blowouts. When the season's over, it doesn't matter if your record is flawless or just over 500. What matters is that you make it here. And remember 2014, 12 and 4 didn't seem so bad to Patriots Nation then. And I know I don't need to remind you about what happened the last time the Patriots went undefeated up until the Super Bowl. If there's one thing Bill Belichick does well, it's improvement. So you can bet the fall to the Broncos will serve as a learning experience. And without the undefeated monkey on his back, maybe Bill will feel freer to experiment with some of his unconventional plays. Like he did last year in the regular season with plays that ended up being key in the Patriots wins in the playoffs. Now, all of that being said, Don Shula's 72 Dolphins do not have a green light to breathe a sigh of relief just yet. There is still an undefeated powerhouse barreling through the NFL. Riverboat Ron, Superman Cam, and the Carolina Panthers are on pace for perfection, and 19-0 is certainly not out of the question.